Hey guys! So today is going to be a tutorial and it's going to be kind of different and weird because this is something that I haven't actually seen a tutorial of on YouTube. So let's just get started. First off, what we're going to be making today is a TV head. These are some of the things I will need. I have a couple different flathead screwdrivers, got a couple wrenches, gloves, bandana for my face, and I'll uh... Hopefully they won't die. Okay, so now we're gonna unscrew these. We're gonna screw all of these. There's some there, it's there. There's also some on the bottom right here that I didn't notice until right now. And of course, those ones. And I think those are all the screws on my TV. All right, this is the last screw. So you wanna keep all your screws. I'm gonna get a little plastic baggie to put mine in. If I unscrewed everything, it should just pop off. Alright, and uh, this is what we have after you take the back off. So these are the speakers to the big TV, and this is the back of it. And I had to cut these wires in order to get a better look at the TV. If you're going to cut any sort of electrical wire, even if the TV is off, you should wear rubber gloves because the electric current can hurt you. So what I found is my particular TV has these weird hexagon little things that are actually holding in the entire TV. I have a toolkit here that has these different size um, hexagons. This is for automotive repair. We have these in the house, so if you don't have this, uh, you could go buy it if you really wanna do this. So I'm just gonna pop this in to see if it works. Hopefully it works. All right, so these are the bolts that were right there. I don't know if you can tell, but they were like glued into the plastic, so I basically ripped the plastic out. Um, so definitely this tool helped if you have this a TV like mine. All right, guys, so undid all the bolts. Two more wires here I'm gonna snip. Yes, okay, so that's the TV part. This is what I want. I just want these two pieces. Success! All right, so right now what I'm doing is I'm just going through and cleaning it, um, taking any parts that are gonna hurt me. So like right here, I had two things sticking straight out and it was gonna stab me. I'm gonna clean this next. And then I'm going to prime the whole TV so I can spray paint it the color I want, which is a to be decided pastel color. All right, now it's getting kind of dark outside, but I'm gonna put, I think, the only coat I'm gonna need of this will hold a uh, cover stain so it's just like a primer sealer and everything and it's just white all right guys so this is the first coat it's completely white because I want a pastel color yeah so this has to dry before anything else happens and then I'm gonna have to like spray the bottom and there's some nooks and crannies that I missed. It's not a perfect coat, but that's okay, because this isn't the coat you're going to see. All right, everybody, so it's day two, and this is my first coat on my TV. As you can see, the inside is still black, but no one's going to see that, so I decided I wasn't going to waste paint on it. And now we're actually going to paint it with the actual color. So this is like pastel pink, and it's not showing up at all, but this is the one I'm using. It says gloss. I'm going to see how glossy it is, and if I really hate it, I'm going to go buy the matte. I recommend you go to a Home Depot, Lowe's, or a hardware store if you're going to get this because it's made for being rough on it. So you probably can't see any difference, but I can. My camera doesn't pick it up very well. There's that pink spot right there. <laughs> so this is just the first coat. It's not very even and it's really drippy, but that's okay. I think I have chosen the direction I want to go in for this TV, so it'll turn out fine. All right, now we're going to make the screen that's going to replace the actual screen that was on the TV. This is some form of plexiglass. As you can see it's not very sturdy. But this is what I'm going to use for the screen. It's just lying around my house and it's also really bendable and uh, the TV I'm using is curved. So I'm going to measure out the amount I need, cut it. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use a tape measure, a box cutter, and a ruler. And of course a sharpie. This is window tint and what it is, it's basically like a sheet. You spray this on the thing you want to tint, you put the sheet on, you squeegee it to get all the air bubbles out or press it down really nicely and then you spray a bunch of this on. Here we go. Alright, through a labor of love and an evil little box cutter, I have now finally separated the my screen. So if you look at the edges, they're not, you know, perfect or anything, but I made sure it was a bit bigger than I needed. So like stuff like this, this whole missing piece wouldn't be showing. And I tested it, I made sure it fit in the screen. And since this is bendy, it'll be awesome. 
and it'll curve to the TV screen. And now I'm gonna see if I can put the window tincher on by myself. Woo! Alright, so this is my screen. I have put down the window tint and it's pretty see-through. I don't know, I don't know. I'm just gonna I'm gonna see what happens when it dries. I'm just gonna like, you know, gently place it in there and see if you could see me through it. If so, I'm gonna figure out something else. Alright guys, so now that both my pieces are dry, I have my plexiglass. I'm going to just that in there. Now I'm just gonna lay that in here and I'm gonna glue it down and then I should be able to screw this back on and put it all together. Since I didn't use super glue I used E6000. It's gonna take a while to dry and to make sure it all sticks down without me having to hold it I put all these semi-heavy paint bottles all the way around it to make sure it doesn't. Alright guys so I just glued this part on and you know, screwed it on, and then I realized that I had this big gaping hole in the back of my TV where a certain piece used to go, but won't go in unless I put the rest of the TV in, and I'm not gonna cut wires and do all that. Ah, da, 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 da. So what I'm doing right now is I just cut a piece of cardboard, white cardboard, as you can tell, out, and I'm just gluing it to this. I'll probably paint something on it so it's cute or something. Yeah, so after this, it should be completely done and ready to try on. So this is my finished TV head. It's completely put together. It's completely finished. Well, I mean, obviously there's going to always be tweaks I can make. Yeah, it's completely done. I'm really proud of it. It's definitely a full two-day project. So I am actually using a pillow for right now. Two pillows, actually, to put inside to keep it balanced on my head. Um, they're working pretty well. My screen is on there pretty tight. There are obvious like scratches and dings you can't see on this video, but that's okay because it was my first time and it looks really nice and I'm really happy. And uh, you can see I'm missing my buttons because I didn't like what I did with them and I'm either going to respray them or just put a uh, shiny film on this, which is probably actually what I'm gonna do because it looks really cute. All right, so I guess now you wanna see what it looks like on. <laughs> 